Hi there, Mrs. Young here, and today we are going to talk about mollusks. So mollusks have soft, unsegmented bodies, and they're often protected by a hard outer shell. So some examples would be clams, snails, slugs, or squid. Some other characteristics are that they have internal organs that are located in one area. They also have a mantle, which is a thin layer of tissue that covers those internal organs. They also have a foot, which in humans, you think of a foot as the feet that you walk on. Well, in mollusks, it's, a foot is an organ that's used for a specific function, and that function depends on what type of mollusk it is. So a foot could be used for crawling or digging or catching prey, anything like that. Mollusks also have an open circulatory system. And what that means is that there's a little tube that comes off the heart that pushes the blood just into the body. So the blood, instead of being confined to blood vessels like humans have, it's just sloshing around in the empty space of the body. So here's three types of mollusks. And you can see that even though their shape is different, their parts are pretty much the same. So they have the snail, his foot is right here, whereas the squid has a foot that is uh, the tentacles, and then here's the foot of the clam, just to give you an idea. So there are three types of mollusks. There's gastropods, bivalves, and cephalopods. So let's start with the gastropods. Gastropods have one or no shell. So these are gonna be your snails and your slugs. They move by creeping along on a broad foot. And if you've ever seen a snail early in the morning walking along your driveway or your walkway as you're leaving the house, you usually see a, sna uh, a slime trail. And what that is, is it's just mucus that helps it make it easier for them to move. Our second group is the bivalves. These all have two shells that are held together by hinges and a strong muscle. So your clams, scallops, and your mussels. These are filter feeders, meaning they strain organisms from the water. Now these organisms tend to stay in one place, or if they do move, they move very, very slowly. And finally, we have our third group, the cephalopods. These live in the ocean, and their foot forms tentacles around their mouth. So your squid and your octopus are examples, and these tentacles are used to capture prey. They're also carnivores. And I hope that was helpful.